Actually, I came in at 395, exactly. So basically I worked my tail off and got down to 317. So it was like that. Were you always that big? Oh, no, no, no. So COVID really messed me up. I couldn't play. So I gained so much weight. Basically, it was all video games and DoorDash. So I couldn't really go outside. And then when I got here, I got humbled really fast. I had to get right, and I lost all that weight. Yeah. So this COVID, was your season canceled, or was it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we couldn't go out to hide none of that. Yeah. I guess what video games were you playing? Call of Duty, Madden, 2K, all that. Like, for hours, just eating and eating and eating, so. McDonald's, every time. McDonald's, every time. It was real bad too. Yeah. Was it like quarter pounder cheese and all that stuff? Oh no, nah. I used to go Big Macs, like Big <laughs> Big Mac. Yeah, Big Mac, a large fry, and a Fanta with no ice. Every time. So how surprising was the stuff that was on your apartment for the first time? I mean, how oh. I haven't weighed myself. And like since that last like junior season, so it was like when I got here and weighed in, it was like a big shock to everybody, humble to everybody. Coach Bates was pretty mad too, <laughs> so because he ain't know he thought I was like three fifty or something like that. It's like nah. But yeah. Thing what was that like? Oh, I mean, I knew it was my time was coming. I mean, like, opportunities was coming. So I just knew I had to make the best for it, man. I just had to get to where I just felt like it was just my time. I saw you were slow to get up that one time there. How is, I mean, is everything feeling fine? You you feel good to go if they call on you this week? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. North Carolina? Yeah. We're going to be in North Carolina? Yeah. Good. What's up? You going to call on me? Yes, sir. I mean, I haven't been home in like so long and played in front of them people. It's just, I just feel like my city really needs it, and I feel like it's gonna be a big impact on my city. When, uh, you talked about the, uh, I guess, setting up scales for the base. You know, it's pretty bad. Kind of, how did you absorb that? Like, what was the feeling you had when you, you know everybody was not happy with you and you know they were just? Yeah, that's when that humbling process, like really came in like these dudes like moving like they actually move the whole line they actually moving and stuff like that and like coach Bates had to sit down with me and just told me what it was like I ain't you ain't gonna get on that field if you don't drop weight so I was like drop weight real fast and then now I'm just confident now like my confidence is out the roof now so what was the Oh, yeah. Or just cutting out certain things your diet? What, what was the thing for? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was real hard, actually, yeah. So my diet was like two grilled chicken salads a day with two chicken patties every day for about three months. Me and Paul Anderson down there just working together. It was just really hard to stay on point, actually. It was just a bad point in my life, but I fought through it, and now I'm just real comfortable where I'm at now. What's the, the hardest part, just being out of shape, or was it part of your just having to take door dash? What is it that's the hardest part of that? When I was in high school, or like? Or just here, when you're trying to stay on that diet and make sure you don't. Oh, it's the food they cook here at the bistro, yeah, like so. <laughs> After practice, that you got to turn left, like where all the food is, and then you got the right. It's like the salad bar. I never got to turn left. So I used to turn right every time. I got a salad and walked out the door because I couldn't stand watching other people eat that food. So, yeah. So when did you, like, when did it really hit home for you that you had kind of done the work and you were in a better place? Obviously, this was a big way in, you know, this year. But was there a point where you kind of realized, like, 
this spring, like, I actually put pads on, like, after I lost all that weight, it was a big difference, and, like, everybody else seen it. And then that's when my confidence came back. So I've been working ever since. Oh man, I just feel like it's been real fun for all of us, like especially me and Kate, you know, like the youngies, all of that. And me, us stepping in and doing big things, it just feel like it's going good for both of us. Oh yeah, they had to change everything. Like my jersey size, my pants size. Like, but you know, the crazy thing is like, my feet stayed the same. Like my feet real <laughs> flat footed and like wide. So stay with the same cleat. I never changed my cleat yet. So anything on Zoom for Peyton? Any other questions in here? Yeah, Peyton, so there's been a lot of injuries on the defense, but is there a good sign of that that other guys are getting a chance early in the season and is that gonna benefit you guys later? You Oh, yeah, of course. It's good for us to go out there and get this experience now. Even though, you know, when Brian and TD get back, you know, the playing time will, like, decrease a little bit. But still, like, now I just got that experience and that confidence now when I get in there is just going to click. What's it going to be like to be around Brian this week? Oh, it's going to be good. I'm going to keep him up, like always. Just make sure he's never down this week, for sure. Keep a smile on his face. Yep, you and Alfredo played in those last games. I think there was one where he got the little right guard back. I think on pass rush, and there was the double team that took on Wood Adams on fourth down. I guess you have a favorite. Play oh yeah, I guess that would be my favorite play, for sure. Because I love like the excitement after that. Like I love when my team like just gets hype and all that. Like that's like the best part of that. Oh, yeah. I could take on a double team, but I wasn't getting off that block as fast enough as last year for sure. So 